All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got a website to rank to 350 users per month. And I'll show you proof that that happened using purely AI content with no editing, nothing. And it did that within about a four month period. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you proof. So you can see here we're in Google Analytics of this account. And you can see here I have selected between 27th of April to 27th of May 2024. So yes, this does or is still working as of now after the March update. You can see here organic search is 337 users. And this month it has had four leads so far. So about a so about so far a one percent conversion rate and i'll explain to you why that is in a minute you can see here in google search console this thing was launched in january 17th we are now in may 27th today so just a little bit over four months now what i'm going to do is i'm going to refresh this so that you can see that this is actually real because again i've been accused of people telling me i'm editing this stuff so you can see here that's the graph it just refreshed you can see so far it's had 620 total clicks we go back to analytics, I'm gonna refresh this page. And then I'm also gonna show you from January as well for this one. And you can see here, it's reloaded the same graph. I'm gonna change the date also from January 1st all the way up to today. And you can see here, a similar graph is what you can see in Google Search Console there as well. You can see that's organic search. If we scroll here, you can see in total 650 users, which lines up with Search Console and it has tracked 19 leads. And I have, I'm, I am personally getting the leads to this website. It's a lead gen site that I've set up and they are actually genuine leads. They've come through a form submit on the form and we have had about 19 leads come through. So that is actually genuinely accurate. I can verify that. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is show the actual website or the URL for this video because I don't want to have any issues or get penalized or anything like that. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna show you the actual website um, on this video, but I'm gonna show you how I did it and what I did to actually get it to rank like this. And you can see here, there's a keyword graph as well. You can see here it lines up with the dates, nothing in December, very small amount in January, and then bang up until the last month and this month, it's really shot up in ranking. So what I did on this website, I made 93 blog posts that were purely AI through Zimwriter. I didn't even edit them. I just put them straight on the website and I just put an internal link from the blog to the main service page that I wanted to link to. Most of them don't even have images. I didn't even edit them in any way, nothing. It was purely straight from Zimwriter. I put the titles in, I used the bulk writer, it uploaded it straight to the website and then I just went in, I added the internal link and I published them. There are 94 blogs. There are about 20 or 20, a bit, let's say approximately 20 to 30 service pages and that's it. So the whole site's about 150 leads. Now I want to preface this also by saying that this is a pretty, this was a pretty easy niche in terms of SEO difficulty. The hardest keywords were maybe in the twenties, if that, according to SEMrush, the keyword difficulty score. And there wasn't a lot of very strong competition in the search results. So I knew that already. I had some experience in this particular a niche so I knew what to do to get it here and what needed to be written about and then basically I just pumped out the content as quickly as possible for this site and put it together within a couple of days as a test to see what will happen. I published everything on the site in January and basically have not touched it since and you can see here that it kind of floated along a little bit and then around March it started going up and now it's significantly increased as a result. Also, I want to make a note of this, that I have an exact, this website actually has an exact match domain for one of the keywords I wanted to rank for. So that is another critical factor that you need to be aware of here. What you also need to be aware of is as of right now, SEMrush is picking up zero backlinks, which is another interesting factor. And it basically has zero difficulty score. So to summarize what's going on here, this site has zero authority score completely AI and no no picked up backlinks. Now I did make some citations for this website, which have clearly not come through yet. That's the only thing I did. I made, I think it was 30 citations, either 20 or 30 citations. And that was it that had the link to the website and a brief description of the brand name and obviously the description of the business. And that was it. No other backlinks didn't do anything else. So to go into the process of how I actually did this on this website, I what I did is this, I'm going to show you the process I used. So what I did is I selected the niche that I wanted to go into and I went into Samrush and basically just pulled out all the keywords that I wanted to rank for. Now, I want to preface this by saying that I don't know if this tactic is still going to work if you start a new site now and launch it. I think it will. And quite frankly, I'm probably going to do another one as a test to see if this is still going to work. But this worked when I launched in January. The update has happened and the site hasn't been hit yet. So I'm assuming that this should probably still work for the time being. So what I would do, let's say, for example, in the purpose of this video, 
Let's say we're a plumbing company in Australia. Let's say Sydney. Let's go say we're a plumber in Sydney and that's what we want to rank for. So what I did is I will pull out plumber Sydney. Let's just type in the main keyword. Go search. What you want to do now is you want to figure out all the services that you need to put under this page. And then you need to figure out all the blogs you need to write about. And I just pulled it out, pulled a list of blog topics, pulled a list of service pages and just made them through ZimWriter. So let's say here, we'll pull out, let's, we'll take a look at these keywords. We'll take a look at the top competitors as well. So I'm just going to put together a quick strategy for you here. Assuming you want to copy this, what I'm going to do is show you how I would do it if I was going to do another one now for a plumber in Sydney. So first thing is you need to know what you're going to write about. So what I'm going to try and do here is pull out the top service pages from these guys from the competitors. And I'll just, we'll quickly put together a list in Notepad here. So let's say emergency plumbing, block drains, toilet repairs, you'll probably have like leaking taps, potentially water heaters, if that's what you want to offer. Hot water repairs, there you go. Leak detection, gas plumbing, if you want to do it. I'm going to ignore gas for the time being. Let's go water heaters. Let's say installation, that would be installation. And let's say leak detection is another good one. So obviously you want to put the ones you want to actually rank for and offer. Pull out some more from this one. I'm just doing this to pull out the all the services that you would do. So I'm showing you the process here. Commercial as well. If you offer commercial, I'll put commercial here. Let's see what else these guys have. Block toilets, gas fitting. So we've done leaking tap, toilet, downpipes, bathroom renovation, plumbing. So basically you would pick which ones you want to offer. I'm just going to quickly, let's see what else they've got here. Emergency plumbing. Have we got emergency? Yeah, well, that was the first one we did. So let's say we've got a decent amount of these. Now on this, like I said, on this one, I had about 20 to 30 service pages. You would obviously go through your particular niche and pick out the ones you want to rank for. But let's say we've got now the, the service pages that we actually want to rank for. So we need to make all of these. So you obviously need to figure out what is the main keyword for each of these ones. So you would go through here. We pulled out this. Let's have a look. So emergency plumbing Sydney would be the main one for emergency plumber. So let's say emergency Sydney. Now, the main page I would, on this particular case, try and make rank for the main keywords. So Plumber Sydney is the main keyword here. So that would be the home page, and you want to optimize the home page for that. Ideally, if you could get the domain plumbersydney.com.au or whatever the particular thing in your case is, that's what you would want to do. Now, here you want to go block drain Plumber Sydney. So this would be this. And you want to do this for the rest of these, okay? So you get the idea here. We're going to, I'm just going to cut through this for the sake of time, but you get the point. You would have Plumber Sydney homepage, emergency plumber would be this page, blocked drain plumber Sydney would be this page, so on and so on. You go down the list, you find the main keyword for each of these, you make the focus of that page. Now, the next thing you want to do is pull out basically every possible angle you can take for blogs. So what you need to do here is you need to outdo your competitors on, on all of the content. And that was one of the things I did here. My website that I released there has more content on this particular niche that I did it in than basically any other competition that ranks on page one. And I think that's one of the reasons my site's ranking. I completely outdid them in terms of content. And so what I did to do that is, you see, you got the questions here. What I did is I literally pulled out every variation of these for all of the services. So we've got the main keyword, let's say Plumber Sydney. We now have 14 potential articles here. How much do plumbers charge per hour in Sydney? I would literally write, I put that in ZimWriter, I let it write a blog about that. Do plumbers in Sydney work on weekends? I put one on that as well. Do you need a plumber to replace a toilet sister in Sydney? I put that in ZimWriter. These are all topics. So explore this entire list here and write these in ZimWriter in the bulk writer. That's how I did it. Now, the next thing I did is I went and go, what's the next one? So let's pull out our next one, emergency plumbing Sydney. Let's put that in and see what the questions are for that one. So we don't have any here. Let's go all keywords, nothing there. Let's see if we go all, what happens? Broad match. You might find some questions here. I would start with the actual questions in the SERPs and the, in the keyword tool. And then from there, figure out what you should write if you don't have that. So right now, there's probably not a lot. So we'll see if we can pull some emergency plumbing stuff from the competitors. Uh, we'll go to the next one, which is blocked drain plumber Sydney. Let's just put block drain plumber and see if we got any question keywords. Let's remove Sydney because sometimes you can get some good topics without having that. Okay, so we have some here. There you go. You've got a few here. I would write about all this, make a blog. Obviously, if they make sense to combine them, you would combine them. Let's go emergency plumber as well. Yep, we have a few questions about general emergency plumbing. How much does an emergency plumber cost? Is basically the main one here. How do they charge? How much are they? When do you call one? Can I get a refund? Are they expensive? These are all blogs I, I would have written about in that blog if I was on that website, if I was doing it here. Explore this list as well. Right now, we've probably got anywhere from 30 to 50 potential blog articles that we've already seen. 
Now you would do the same thing with toilet repairs. So you go to toilet repair and see what questions there are about toilet repairs. There you go. How do you repair a leaking toilet? How to repair a clogged toilet? How to repair a running toilet? How to repair a loose toilet seat? That's not that relevant, but you could certainly throw that in there if you wanted. How to repair the leaking toilet sister. And here goes a bunch here. Write about all of these as well. And basically you're just throwing them into the Zimrider bulk writer and letting it do its thing. You don't necessarily have to write about all of these. Now, that's how I did it, at least when I did this blog. So you go through and you do all of these, and I'm sure you can see by the time you've done all of these, especially if you have more service pages, you're gonna have more than 100 blog topics you write about. Now, you take Zimrider and you take all of those that you just did. I'm gonna open up Zimrider and I'll show you how I would have done it or how I did do it, okay? You take it, you open up the bulk writer, and now you start throwing all of these titles in. Now, you wanna obviously clean the titles up a bit, but you know, you'd go here, how to repair a leaking toilet. How do you repair a clogged toilet? How to repair a running toilet? How to repair a toilet inlet valve? How to repair a cracked toilet bowl? Probably be a replacement. And basically you would go down the list, you'd pull out all the topics that you you'd selected that you wanted to write about, like removing any duplicates and very similar ones, obviously. And then you let this thing do its thing. So you would go through and you put the settings that you want, um, obviously deciding what you want. If you use ChatGPT4, it might get a bit expensive to write a hundred articles, but you could certainly do that. And then select all the settings you want, set up your WordPress site. So it goes automatically to the WordPress site, and uploads them. And then you could go through there. And all I did was there as I went in, I found the keyword I wanted to link back to the main page. So for the toilet repair ones, I would link back to the toilet repair page. I'd find the keyword in there. I wanted to internal link link them back and then publish them. And I did that for all 93 blogs that were on this website that I made for the different areas. I selected which ones I was gonna write about for the different services and I linked them back to those blogs and that was it. And then all I did is I did that. Then I released a bunch of citations. So I went to authority builders. I'll put a link in this below. I went to their local citation service. I bought 20 citations. I put, obviously I made up the brand name and a description for the business. I filled this out here. You select what country, so it'd be Australia. So the do, do that, let's say, hit 25, fill out all these details, get the citations from them, and that was it. And that's all I did to get the results that I showed you at the beginning of this video for this website. That's literally the process I used. So if you apply this exact process to whatever niche or industry you're in, you might get similar results. Now, I can't guarantee it's gonna work, especially now with how things have been lately, but for the particular service I did for a local business with service pages and everything in the way I did in a relatively easy niche, this worked. So it's up to you whether you wanna test this theory, but I'm just showing you how it worked from my case using pure AI to do it even after the March update. Now, from here, I would probably recommend that you edit your content a little bit more than what I did on this particular site, especially since this was a, a particularly easy case that I did it in but that's how I would do it. And then you might need to do some more backlinking as well, depending on how competitive your niche is. However, hopefully this gives you an idea of how you could try to do the same thing. Cause in theory, you could set this up. You can sell the leads to another local business, make a bit of money. So that's it. That's why I wanted to show you how I used AI 100% to get a website to rank within a four month period. It is on page one for several keywords already. It's actually number two for the main keyword, which the domain matches. So that's quite interesting. If you have any questions or comments about this, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you want me to get you results with SEO for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with me there. I'll see if SEO is the right path or whether you should be doing something else, Google ads, a combination, whatever. Uh, we'll have a call and I'll see what I can do for you. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one.